What's going on civilians? It's NCivs here and today I'm going to show you how to install Mo Creatures for the latest Minecraft, which is version 1.1. Alright, so let me get started with this and let you know what programs you're going to need. So first things first, you're going to need WinRAR so that you can access all these and extract them to the Minecraft.jar file. So once you got WinRAR, which will be down in the description below, there will be a link there, it's free, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, then you'll have you'll be able to tinker with all these files in your your next step, which is going to be going to percent app data percent. So copy that exactly if you don't know what that is, or if you do, then just go there, hit enter, double click your dot Minecraft, go into your bin and your Minecraft executable jar file. So make sure you're clicking that one and not this one. You only need your Minecraft one. So what you're going to do, you're going to right click it, open with WinRAR. So at this point, uh, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to kind of want to slide it over so you can multitask. And now you're going to have to follow these directions kind of carefully so you make sure you're doing everything right and you follow along. So first things first, if you are kind of doing this while you are just listening, because I know I've seen this a few times where people who do tutorials, they kind of do it visually by pointing at certain things. So I'm going to try to do my best at making sure all the civilians and anybody else can just hear what I'm doing and kind of follow along with me. So if you guys are caught up to this point, I'm going to start it. So first things first, once you've got all the the right programs like Mod Loader, Audio Mod, GUI, API, Custom Mob Spawner, and of course Mo Creatures, have those all kind of set on your desktop so that we can work with it from there. And make sure you have your Minecraft.jar when it's open to the side and first things first, you're going to have to right click mod loader open with WinRAR so if you're with me you're gonna have to do this for almost all of those but just kinda stick with me so that you don't screw it up or anything so once you're in the mod loader dot zip you're gonna wanna click the top class file hold shift scroll to the bottom and then click the bottom the bottom class file sorry and that's just gonna highlight them all for you saving the trouble of highlighting each individual or scrolling over because sometimes it doesn't work how you'd like it <laughs> and all you're going to want to do is drag that into your .jar file hit OK and you're done with mod loader so next we're going to do the same with audio mod so you can either double click or open with you know the usual routine and then you're going to want to do the exact same thing drag the three file well the two folders in the one class file into your minecraft.jar and hit OK at this point I'd like to kinda take a break from doing that at the moment so we're going to sit there and go make sure minecraft is working and we're just gonna check this because you never know it might not be working properly so let's just check is it gonna work why do we got a black screen well that's new alright so let's reload oh sorry look at that I didn't delete the meta inf, or inf whatever you wanna call it I can't say it right uh, but you gotta delete the meta inf and it should still work and that is all we need to do let's make sure it should work at this point and yeah we, we're in okay so now we're gonna continue on with what we were doing prior so now we're gonna have to go with GUI API make sure you still have your minecraft.jar open so that you can add the next two in there so make sure you just sit there right click or hold shift drag all those class files into the minecraft.jar and hit OK and then next you're gonna well lastly you'll have to do with custom mob spawner for now except you won't need that readme file so you can kinda just click them and add them over to your minecraft.jar as you did with mod loader, audio mod, and GUI API uh, from here on out you won't need minecraft.jar anymore you're done with that uh, if you still have your your percent app data roaming and you're in your minecraft your dot minecraft file just kinda go back and find where all these folders are and you're gonna wanna Oh, damn, sorry about that. You're actually going to have to percent go back to your Minecraft, your uh your your bin. Uh you're going to want to open up that again and I forgot to do this. Good thing we caught on to this. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Mo Creatures. And this is the whole reason why you are all here, all the civilians and anybody else who is wondering how to use this. So you're going to have to open mods and you'll see another Mo Creatures zip in there. Just double click that and you will see a whole new list of class files and a couple other folders. So again, just click the top one, hold shift, go to the bottom, 
Click that one and then drag it all over into your Minecraft.jar. At this point you should be done with the Minecraft.jar and you are now ready to go into just the percent app data now. So at this point you can back from your bin and you should see the resources folder. So make sure on your mocreatures.zip you can exit that and just go back prior to where it said mods, resources, and the readme text of the mocreatures, the little area where you are working with. So as long as you have all that open, let's open that back up, you're going to want to go into your resources and all you're going to have to do is drag, you're going to actually, sorry, you'll have to click resources, double click that and you'll see a mod folder in there. You're going to drag that into your resources folder in Minecraft and it'll just pop up saying do you want to merge and yes. So from here on out Mo Creatures should be fully installed. And let's go make sure of course that Mo Creatures is installed and that we don't have any issues happening. So it looks good so far. There is no black screen and yes we do. We are global mod settings and that basically shows that we have something like that unless you if you didn't start on a clean slate you might have had other mods like this but here is all the certain things. Those are creatures, animals, they have everything in here. It is the most recent too, so there's the goats. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there should be uh, stingrays and stuff on. So let's water mobs, jellyfish. Yeah, they have rays in there too. And let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that for now. I'm going to quickly go get off fancy and stuff. We don't want to be receiving any lag while we're doing this and I will go test out to see if it works. So let's quickly generate a world. I'm going to label it as civilians with the little the happy face. <laughs> and we're going to see if it works. Uh, let me say this now is that I've noticed over prior before when I had the other mo creatures is that the first generated world doesn't seem to have many spawns or even any at all at that matter. So you might have to do another world or two and gradually you should see some new mobs and this is a odd spawn but okay. Oh, that is some weird sand, or sand, sorry, grass. So all we're going to do is we're going to go, uh, we're in a grassland, and there, oh, that's a cow, never mind. All right, so we got some cows around here, and they greeted me with some moos. <laughs> uh, so at this point, we haven't seen anything, and I can't really say that, like I mentioned, actually, oh, is that a horse over there? We got some horses, actually, so, and a kitty up there. We got a little cat. What's going on, cat? Is that was it a cat though? I couldn't tell. We're just gonna make sure to see. These are kind of the more rare ones. So if you can see the rare ones, you're for sure gonna see. Uh, oh, it's a goat. That's a new one. We got some goats chilling around here. That's I haven't seen those before. Uh, again, you got a horse over here. You got the old ones too. Oof, who cares about the old ones? We just want the new ones. Nobody cares for you anymore. <laughs> are they fighting? That is so cool. Oh my god. They're ramming heads. That is so cool. <laughs> All right, so we did see the goats. I'm gonna travel maybe another, not not that far. I just wanna see if we can see anything else. And of course, we've seen goats. So likely, there is mobs all spawned in the world. Again, you might have to either wait a night. I've heard, and either that, or you can just generate a brand new world. I've seen that works, and you should see a bunch of new mobs eventually. Again, if at this point, like you see the elk or the moose or whatever, those look like, I don't know, those are something like that, but we do got another set of mobs. Oh, those look, those sound like elks or something. But that is about all for Mo Creatures and how to install it. If you had any trouble, please let me know. I am, I'll feel free to help you all out. Any civilians out there, anyone else who enjoyed this video, just leave a like. Let me know what you thought. And as well, I will be starting a Mo Creatures series. You should... You should see a little clip at the end of it. Oh my god, there's alligators. Oh, that's not good. Oh, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this, okay? Alright, so we know it's where. Leave me alone! I don't like you. Why are you chasing me? Kill the dog. What is this? I don't want none of this. You jelly? Alrighty, so we know the, the mod is working. <laughs> And now I'm going to show you, since you kind of see that I'm not getting a good frame rate. And this is to kind of help out any commentators with a not so great computer that want to run Minecraft. Maybe another 10 to 12 frames higher. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I do to kind of get the best performance out of things. So let's quickly end Minecraft.